A $500,000 project is underway in Heron Bay. As you drive down Dolphin Island Parkway, you may see boats spraying limestone rocks in the water it's to help with oyster restoration. WKRG News 5's Haley Kennedy spent the day on a boat to get a closer look. 6,500 tons of limestone clutch material is being distributed into the Heron Bay right behind me. This is all in an effort to restore the native Alabama oyster population. Over the last decade or more, oysters have not been doing the best across the Gulf as a whole. That's because of natural disasters like hurricanes and oil spills. Dolphin Island Mayor Jeff Collier says that the oil spill in 2010 put things into perspective. That really kind of shook us all to the core that we'd never had faced something like that where we could really lose what we thought was a given as far as the, the a clean environment. This limestone will be distributed across 77 acres of water in the Heron Bay, setting a base for future oyster reefs. The areas that we're putting this culture material out today are gaps within this area that don't have suitable culture material. We're adding that so that young oysters can attach and grow and provide those benefits down the road. Those benefits include more than just the tasty oysters to eat, but also improving water quality and better fishing opportunities, which according to Collier, having a healthy environment is the building blocks for what makes Dolphin Island tourism run. I mean, we're checking all the boxes here. It's just a fantastic project. Now, we won't see any differences right away, but over the next two years, the Alabama Wildlife Federation will be monitoring how these oysters attach and grow to their new home. In Dauphin Island, Haley Kennedy, WKRG News 5.